Hey, what's going on, my friend? It's Jeff Newpert from ChasingStrength.com. And in today's video, we are going to answer the question, what if? Right. So before we get there, hey, let me just say, as I'm the time I'm making this video, we are halfway through January of the new year. And I hope that the new year is surpassing your expectations so far. But if it's not, here is a radical idea for you. What if, okay, now just hear me out. What if you just picked one kettlebell workout program and followed that program? without any distractions, without bouncing from one workout to the next, one program to the next, without being like a cat following a laser pointer, right? Getting distracted by squirrels, running by windows, that sort of thing, and focused on doing that one kettlebell workout program for how about this entire year? Here's why I'm sharing this with you, okay? I got an email the other day from a gentleman named Cutter, and he shared his results with me, which I'm going to share with you about focusing on one thing. We're going to toss his email up here on the screen and uh, I'll I'll cherry pick it, right? I'll put most of it up here, but I'll read the important parts, okay? So he said, uh, thank you for your exceptional programs. Here are two testimonials, one for the giant, one for king size killer, followed by two questions. Now I'm going to put what he said about the giant up here, okay? And uh, we'll do the king size killer some other time. So this is what he said. Um, Here's some background. He did Dan John's 500 Swings a Day program. And then he said, I was initially skeptical of the results I could get with only, there are those quotes, right? Air quotes we like to do on cha- on this channel here, although those are real quotes, not air quotes, in only 30 minutes of weight training and only three times a week. And this is what else he said, what else Cutter said. He said, due to my career in the Navy, I ran the program with a good deal of calisthenics and running baked into my days about three times a week. For background, that's what he's already doing. So this is nothing new. It's not like he's adding that to three times of training, three times a week of training for only 30 minutes. It's already there. It's already the background, hence the term baked in. If you're watching this from uh, another country and you're not familiar with American colloquialisms. So here's what Cutter said. I took seriously your challenge to see how long I could stay focused on the program without shifting to another. In the year and a half that I ran the program, I went from clean and pressing double 50 pound kettlebells times five. So that's five reps, 20 times in 30 minutes. So 20 sets of five reps, clean and presses in 30 minutes to cleaning and pressing with some leg drive, double 85 dumbbells, okay, for eight reps, 13 times or 13 sets in 30 minutes. Right. I think that you would agree that's pretty exceptional. And you go, yeah, but it took them a year and a half. And I'll say, okay, let's look back over the last year and a half and see if you got the same similar or better results than Cutter got, okay? Right, that's a, that's a direct challenge for you. And if you didn't, what were your results and why not, okay? So here's what else Cutter said. He said, in that time, my upper back and traps exploded. My arms and chest filled out my T-shirts in ways they never had before. After years of going to the gym, I finally looked like I lifted. The results came despite the interrupted sleep, poor nutrition, and stress that comes with serving in the military. All right, so... The, his environment, Cutter's environment, and his circumstances were less than optimal. He wasn't training like an athlete or a pampered pro bodybuilder, okay? Just a regular dude. Well, not really a regular dude because he's in the military. So a military guy whose life is far from perfect, and he still got those results. So let's review Cutter's main points. We'll throw them up here on the screen so that we can all learn from them. One, he committed to the challenge of staying focused. Two, he ran the giant, which is a kettlebell clean and press program for a year and a half. He started with two 50 pound kettlebells and he did 20 sets of five in 30 minutes. Three, he finished with a pair of 85 pound dumbbells for 13 sets of eight in 30 minutes. And yeah, he had some leg drive in there, which means he turned some of them into push presses, but so what? That's perfectly acceptable. All I got to say is, wow, that's pretty significant. Those are fantastic results. In fact, I will say I'll go on record. Those are some of the best results reported from running the giant so far. Now, here's what Cutter said were his results in his own words. And I think it's important that we review this because, you know, I'd love for you to be able to say those same things. Okay. So he said, one, and that time, so that year and a half, my upper back and traps exploded and my arms and chest filled out my t-shirts in ways they never had before. Well, so much for growing muscle and getting strong. 
Okay, especially the whole you can't grow muscle with kettlebells myth. Number two, after years of going to the gym, I finally looked like I lifted. So it's kind of important, I think. It's important to see your results. Number three, these results came despite interrupted sleep, poor nutrition, and the stress that comes with serving in the military. Now, look, I'm not saying you have to do the giant like Cutter did. Although, to quote Tony Robbins, right, the performance and productivity guru, success leaves clues. So it probably wouldn't be the worst idea you ever had if you did do the giant, okay? So the point here is that if you want different results this year than you did last year, or even better results than you had last year, maybe even results like cutters, which, as I said before, are some of the best I've seen to date using the giant, you'd be best served by picking one goal and going after it until you achieve it, okay? Now, yes, it's going to take focus. Yes, it will take discipline. Yes, it will take saying no to some things. And yes, it will go against societal norms. And some people, maybe even your loved ones, just won't understand. However, if you decide to do things differently this year or even level up your kettlebell workout game, this time next year, you'll look back with pride on your achievements, just like Cutter has. And maybe you too, with even less then optimal circumstances will have the deep satisfaction of saying my upper back and traps exploded and my arms and chest filled out my t-shirts in ways they never have before. And after years of going to the gym, I finally look like I lifted. The beautiful thing about life is that the choice is yours to make, right? If you want to see different results or better results this year than you did last year, I will leave a couple links in the description below this video to the giant, to the giant X and to a full year's worth of programming. If you need some more variety other than just doing clean impressives. Okay. That program yields fantastic results as well. All right. Until next time, my friend, Arpe Diem, seize the day and stay strong.